Hey guys, it's Tim here with Tabletop Terrors uh, doing a video from the comfort of my truck. Uh, I had an opportunity last night to play in a one-shot D&D adventure. And it was 5th edition. It was run by A Fistful of Dice, uh, also known as Mr. Matt Click. Uh, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, he's one of the inspirations that I had to even start a channel. Definitely check him out, A Fistful of Dice. He ran this one-off. And I wanted to give you some of the things in 5th edition that I likened to all the other editions. So what do I mean? Well, I mean, I think there's a little bit of each edition in 5th. And you probably heard that, but I want to give you specific, unique examples during our gameplay um, that I personally experienced. So I'm going to do what I call the 5th edition math. So I'm going to basically go through and give one point to each edition and how it adds in to make five or the fifth edition. So let's start with first edition, right? First edition, uh, if you've ever played first edition D&D, you'll know it's lethal. It's very deadly. Uh, you can die very quickly. That's in fifth edition, especially if you play uh, with the some of the variant rules on critical hits and things like that. If you're looking for that sense of danger, you're going to find it in fifth edition. So that's the first thing. Uh, for second edition, right? The playability is there, right? That ability to have some interpretation in the rules that doesn't break the game. To role play and not have it cost you a battle. There are some really cool things in fifth edition that liken very similarly unto second edition in its playability. Uh, let's see. Uh, so that brings us to third edition or 3.5 or Pathfinder, depending on what your poison is. 3.5, very crunchy, right? Tons of different rules, different variants, different things like that. Fifth edition has some of that, at least the crunchy bits that I think matter. So there's still some crunch if that's what you're looking for. It's not full on crunchy, you know, super peanut butter 3.5 but it does have the bits. It also has the opportunity to introduce some of those bits in if you want. There are a lot of boxes in the player's handbook that show variant rules or optional rules. So if you want to make your campaign a little crunchier or even one or two adventures a little crunchier, you can do that. So it's got some of that crunch of 3.5. Fourth edition, probably the most polarizing edition that there is. It has the cool moves. One of the things about fourth edition that you can't deny is... It's got some pretty cool combat stuff. Now, it's pretty dense. It's basically a tabletop miniatures game. But there are elements of 4th edition and those cool moves that they put into 5th edition. Again, they've given you variety, though. So you can use them or not use them or use them in various ways. So that brings us to the 5th thing or 5th edition. So I think 5th edition brings its own newness to the table. There's something vigorous about it. There's something aware. Something that is, I think, tapping into the zeitgeist of what gamers have wanted over the years and kind of combining these different elements. So, if anything, what 5th edition brings to the table by itself is its flexibility. It's almost like a framework more than it is a game system. It's almost like a template. And you can mix, match, and change the pieces of that template to make it more first edition or more second edition, more third edition and so on. And overall, in my experience, it hasn't broken the game. So that's it. Those are the five pieces of the puzzle, the five pieces of math, one, two, three, four, and five that equal fifth edition. So those are my thoughts, but comment, tell me, what's your experience? Uh, if, if you disagree with me entirely, plug it in there. Um, if you think that I'm right, comment on that too. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. And if you haven't seen the one-off that we ran, it's a lot of fun. Go to A Fistful of Dice. Uh, he's one of my suggested, I think, I'm not sure which way this is going to post, but it's over in the uh, suggested videos, A Fistful of Dice. Check out the one-off. Uh, I think it posted last night. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. This is Tim with Tabletop Terrors. I'll have more videos coming soon. I'm looking forward to your comments. Bye-bye.